What is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be replacing my cast sensor in my R32 GTR. Mine went out, my stock cast sensor. I haven't taken it apart so I can show you guys what it looks like. And we got our replacement part already in. So we're going to go ahead, I'm going to show you guys how to install the cast sensor and also check if you guys get trigger from that cast sensor to verify that it works. Let's get into the video. To take out the cast sensor, it's pretty easy. It's just these three bolts right here and they're all three 10 millimeters. So this is a stock cast sensor in an RB20, 25 and 26. They're all the same for all three motors. So here is the opening of the cast sensor. I just took it apart. You can see there's little 360 degree windows right there and what happens is over time i mean these are 30 you know plus year old cars so over time these start to fail here the sensor and especially when you have an aftermarket rb these things like to jump a lot and throw off timing and what it does is it communicates to the ecu i have a Haltech platinum pro series and what happened was this thing completely failed and it wasn't reading anything. So it didn't know when to fire the plugs. It didn't tell the ECU on when to fire the plugs. It didn't know where the cam position was. So these stock cast sensors are kind of crappy. Not a good piece in the RB motors. But other than that, you can get a replacement for a couple hundred bucks. So here's the replacement cast for the RB20, 25, and 26. Looks really good. Looks new. Make sure not to drop this because this is cast. So we also want to be careful tightening this. We don't want to go too tight and crack these here, but really easy process. All you got to do is you see this little groove inside right on this side and you can see the cam gear key. You can see the key right in there. And what you want to do is you want to line that up with this. So this piece will slide in. It'll slide in like this because that, that key is actually aiming up. So what we want to do is move this down and we will be able to slide that right in. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we got it slid in. It is, like I said, a little bit of a tricky process lining up the keys together. But once you know you get it all the way in is once, it, once it's flush against the timing cover here. And we're gonna get our 10 millimeters and put them back in these three holes here as well and get reconnected to our Haltech. And I'll show you guys what the main setup looks like for the stock RB CAS. So the torque specs for the three bolts on the cast sensor is 12 to 15 foot pounds. I'm going to go right in the middle, 13, 14 foot pounds should be good enough. So I got my torque wrench out. I'm going to just torque them down a spec and we should be good to go. So like I said, I have the Haltech ECU Platinum Pro Series plugin. So I got, went ahead, I clicked uh, ECU manager here. So what we have in here is we have my ECU. See it down there. We have our core plug-in right down there and this is just a usb i'm just going to run this outside the car i'm going to connect it to my laptop to see communication to my ecu through my computer so i plugged in that plug-in to my ecu what i'm going to do now i'm just going to be turning on my ignition that is going to be it just turn your ignition i'm going to go over to my computer here what i'm going to do is i'm going to hit file connect is up there file and then connect and what it's doing now is it's do downloading my tune basically on my ecu is downloading the whole thing so i can just see everything of my tune onto my computer which is awesome all right so we got my ecu slash tune onto my computer now we can see everything this will be sort of the same it depends on what ecu you have but the gauges are gonna be somewhat similar in the way they name them. So what you're gonna to wanna to do when you wanna check uh, your trigger and make sure that the cast is working correctly is you can go up here. We can see our gauge up here. We can see this little toolbar. We can say select channel. And you wanna look up something like trigger. If we look up trigger, we can see triangle, trigger angle offset or trigger counter. Use trigger counter. So I'm editing this YouTube video and I'm realizing that I didn't explain how to check the trigger. Basically, I showed you guys how to set up your trigger counter. So when you set that up, what you can do is crank the car, turn it over. You should, that trigger counter should start to climb. Then you know that your CAS sensor is communicating to the ECU, your trigger. So just to let you guys know that. So let's get back in the video. 
So we are back in the car now. I got the ignition on and got the Hall Tech back connected with my computer. So what we're gonna do is if you wanna retime your car, I'm gonna tell you how to do it. I'm not gonna show you because I already already did it once. So if you wanna go to setup, this will just be for the Hall Tech Platinum Pro. Main setup, and basically it pulls this guy up. We got our trigger over here. If you were to put in an aftermarket trigger kit, you would have to get a multi two twenty four and one just for the hall tech. If you got an elite series, you'd be able to go to a twelve tooth. But in this case, I'm just going to stick with the. I got this pretty much a stock OEM replacement one. The trigger angle is set to one hundred ten degrees. You might have to adjust that and change that. You shouldn't have to, but you might have to change that. I know for the trigger kit, you'll have to change this. When you do that, you're going to want to lock timing and also disable the fuel injectors because we want to disable it so we don't flood the engine. So what you're going to do is just disable, and then you can lock your timing at 20 degrees, and you're able to adjust your timing through here. And what you want to do is on your harmonic balancer, if you get a timing light, you'll be able to start the car, have somebody help you with it. It'll be a lot easier to adjust this crank and or adjust the trigger angle here, and you'll be able to get it dialed in. And then when, you, when you're done, you wanna hit apply, and then okay. Thank you guys for watching the video. This is how to install a replacement cast on your RB20, 25, and 26, and how to get connected to your ECU and kind of communicate that the replacement is working. Please like and subscribe, and comment down below if you guys have any other ideas you want me to do in the future, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.